kind of crazy, these fires. There are towns that I went to in my childhood in the past passes that um, no longer exist. Hey friends, I hope you are well today. I just wanted to give an update today of how it is over here in Central Oregon. Some updates on the wildfires. I got this information from the Bureau of Land Management from Oregon and Washington. So currently, sorry, I have my notes. There are 28 fires in Oregon and Washington. Eight of those fires are over 100,000 acres in size. Five of those fires are here in Oregon. There are over 1 million acres burning in Oregon and Washington. I believe they said 1.37 million. There have been over 500,000 people evacuated from the Oregon wildfires currently. There have been two confirmed deaths from the San Diem fires and the smoke levels throughout Western and Central Oregon are currently at hazardous levels. My mom and stepdad decided to come over night before last from their place on Mount Hood because it was very smoky there and my uh, stepdad is pretty susceptible to things. They were on level one evacuation orders. They're still currently, that area is still currently on level one. They were kind of tired of not having any power, so they came over here. They've been without power there since like Sunday or something last earlier this week, and um, maybe a little bit earlier. The power companies turned off the power due to the high wind storms that we had earlier this week so that no wildfires would pop up from fallen power lines and such. Anyway, it's kind of crazy, these fires. There are towns that I went to in my childhood in the past passes that um, no longer exist. So that's Detroit by T Detroit Lake on the San Ian Pass. It, uh, it's gone. There's a lot of homes and towns that are gone and I just can't believe it. It's, it's pretty scary to think that that happens in real life. And you never would have thought it would happen in Oregon because uh, the mountain range and Western Oregon, they get very high, they typically get very high levels of rain each year. Where my mom lives, it's like 80 inches per year for rain. It's technically a rainforest because of the rain levels, the uh, Mount Hood National Forest. Any hoot. Yeah, so I did some video of what the smoke looks like here and uh, yeah. And just to say, my skyline has all kinds of hills and mountains on it. You cannot see them. mountain here, <laughs> well maybe not that big here, <laughs> that is called Mount Grizzly, or Grizzly Mountain, excuse me, and uh, what mountain? My bees are not doing anything, and just hanging out in their hives. It's pretty intense smoke here, not as bad as I saw in Western Oregon. It's been worse than this here before, but it's still pretty uncomfortable. A couple of bees here and there. It is possible that any extra resources they may have had could likely be eaten during this heavy smoke time. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in and say I may be sporadic, but maybe I'll have an ample amount of time, but I'll be spending time with my mom and all that, but it is possible I may not be posting a ton of videos during this time, and I know you guys will understand. I hope you guys are all safe and well. I know we have some homesteading family members that are that have been displaced here in Oregon. And I hope you guys are fine and well. 
Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me here on Farmstead Smith. I'll see you next time.